And there are many wish fulfillment game experiences that are a natural fit for VR, but few make as much sense as epic multiplayer giant mech combat. So here to tell us about the new VR mech game Hellfire, uh, our president of Skydance Media, Guy Constantini, and lead programmer, Pablo Leon Luna. Hey guys, how you doing? How's it going, Jeff? It's going, it's going great. So Hellfire, uh, this is a game that uh, you know we saw last year, but you guys I know have gone back in and added some new stuff to it. Um, tell us about sort of the, the new version, the new enhancements. Well, you know, the first one was a single player story based game. Yep. Uh, and we knew that people loved it, but they all kept asking for one thing. They said, we want it off rails. Yep. We want it multiplayer. And so we decided, you know what, it's kind of crazy. That means making an entire new game, uh, but let's do it. Let's try. Uh, so we got Pablo and his team yeah. together. They uh, poured blood, sweat, and tears into this. Yeah. Uh, and now you can get a wingman. Wow. jump in a six-story mech, yeah. and wage war against others. Wow, when I got to, got to play uh, a little while ago at yeah. your office, and it's, uh, it's cool, because this is definitely, you know, full mech combat, um, multiplayer, I mean, that's what people want. It's like the fun of sort of, you know, battling against, you know, off-rails, as you said. It's, and this is some footage here of it in action. Um, so tell us, I mean, you know, you guys have done a lot in VR. Um, the experience here of, you know, being immersed, and you said what I love is, you know, the looking around the cockpit, um, you know, the multiple weapons, and again, the sense of movement, which is something, as I said, with the last game you didn't have. So, and I admire that you guys sort of took the feedback, went in and said, hey, let's build something based on what the fans want. Obviously more challenging to sort of make it more open world, but uh, tell us about this sort of level and this, this experience. What are we seeing here, Pablo? You're seeing Genesis facility here. Yeah. This is our first map, and you're seeing right now we've got a USFF mech playing yep. with a medium on his side. Uh -huh. And one of the things that we added into the game uh, mid-development was the ability to hover. So you'll see not only can you move around on the ground, yep. which is a step up, and here you're going to encounter a heavy mech. Um, and that was some res rockets that were just shot there. Hellswarm rockets, rather. But yep. uh, we, you'll, we have, see, now you see this heavy mech jumping above you. And that's one of the big showcases of our game, is that we've been able to add in lots of mobility and quick movement, which has in the past been difficult in VR because of the nausea, but we've found lots of ways around that. And this is, uh, is it, it's coming sooner, it's in early access, right? Yeah, it's in early yeah. access now. Okay. You can play it right now if you go on the Oculus Store or Steam. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually gonna be playable by everyone for free on the 17th of July. Okay. Uh, we want as many people, once we iron out the kinks, we want as many people as oh, possible. So you put out for free, people just check it out in VR. Yeah, they could just check out the PvP. Yeah. Uh, we have, obviously, if you want to support the war effort, you can, yeah. and you'll get some cool mech skins, and you'll get cool access to co-op horde mode. Wow. Uh, but anyone can come in and start war against other mechs. And something that may not be immediately apparent is there's an energy system okay. in the mech. Right. Uh, as you accrue energy, you unlock the ability to use deadly ultimate abilities. Uh -huh. And this, there's a couple of them. A couple that, I'm, that are worth mentioning are, you know, stealth that you just yeah. see used. You can essentially become invisible and attack your opponents from different angles. Yeah. And then you have a singularity beam. It's a huge shoulder mounted rocket that just beams laser, yeah. cuts through environment, cuts through people. Uh, and then you also have death from above, which is the favorite. Uh -huh. You jump up with your mech and just launch rockets from both your arms. Yeah, shoot tons of missiles down on your enemies. It's a lot of fun. No, it's, uh, yeah. it's super intense. Well, that's great. Well, we'll check it out uh, in early access at PSVR eventually, too. Well, you know, we want to really have something tight for the players. If they show us they love it, yeah. you know, there's no saying where it'll go. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, it's great to see uh, Skydance, you guys, continuing to invest in a lot of entertainment properties, including gaming, and we're excited to hear more about uh, what you guys are doing next, because uh, I know this is the, the first of many projects, right? Yeah, we have a Walking Dead VR game that we're working on. Wow. We're not really ready to talk a little bit more about that yet, uh, but we have also a couple of other VR projects under the hood. We're believers in VR. We think it's you know gonna take some time to get to the right size, yeah. but we're here for the long term. We're gonna create really high-end experiences for players that really enjoy AAA games. Uh, we've been, we, that's our background. Yeah. We come from making really great games, and we know what people want. It's just a matter of time before you start seeing that in you VR. Think you'll do, will you think you'll do traditional non-VR games or focus just on VR for now? Well, I'm not going to talk about that at all, but yeah. I think for now our focus is really learning what it takes to make something special in VR. All right. Well, uh, it's great to see, and cool. Hey, game available for free July 17th. Can't complain about that. So, uh, <laughs> Pablo Guy, thanks so much for uh, dropping by.